Hey, this is PJ with CLK Supplies, and in this video, I'm going to go over how to shim a lock. Now, if you're not familiar with what lock shimming is, it's a technique used to open a lock cylinder without a key. Now, this is not an opening technique. So, if uh, like if a customer was locked out of their house and we need and you needed to um, gain entry, this is not a technique for that. Uh, this is a technique for once you already have you've already gained entry and you're taking the locks off the doors to rekey or make a key for them. Now there's only two items required to shim a lock. First is gonna be a blank key that fits into the lock cylinder, and second is gonna be the lock shim. Now lock shims are sold in packs of 25. Our part number is CLK 25S, and a pack like this is gonna cost you uh, between three and four dollars, and um, it comes with, like I said, 25 pieces, but that doesn't mean you're gonna shim, you're, you're only gonna be able to shim 25 locks. Each piece of shim, you'll be able to uh, shim several locks. I would guess this pack of 25 pieces, you'll be able to shim two, 300 locks, no problem. Now, lock shimming is a really good technique um, to learn, and, the, and three reasons why I believe that lock shimming is really good is one, it's inexpensive, Two, it's not going to damage the lock at all. And three, it's super easy once you learn how to do it. So let me uh, show you how to shim a lock. Now this is just a standard, our standard city lock deadbolt. Um, I went ahead and took off the tail pieces on the back just to save a little bit of time in the video. And is what you're going to do now, it's always good to spray some uh, lubricant in here like Houdini if the pins aren't very... Uh, if you stick the key in and it's kind of tight. Now this is a brand new lock cylinder. I just pulled that inventory. Um, and you see when I put it in here and try to turn, it's locked up with this blank key. There's no, I didn't like make this a special um, to make it easy to pick. This is just one just right out of inventory here. Um, so is what, and is what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be using the very tip of this key to move the bottom pin up and down to get the top pin and the bottom pin to meet at the shear line, and then we're gonna stick this shim, we're gonna stick this shim right in it like that, right over top of it, just like that. So, is what, is what, and we're gonna start in the back, and we're gonna work our way to the front. So, let's go ahead and just stick the key in the front here, we're gonna grab the shim, make sure the curvature of the shim is down, as you can see the little kind of curves right here. So, we're gonna put this on the back, on the shear line, which is where the, um, top pin and springs and the bottom pins of the plug meet, which is right here, that's called the shear line. And we're gonna just stick this in like this, right on the back, as you can see. Now you always wanna make sure that you keep um, this shim just directly in line with what they call this here that has the top pins and springs in it, the, the lock cylinder Bible. So we're gonna get that aligned just like that. And then there's two techniques to do it. A lot of, probably the most popular way is to kind of hold the shim like this and then take the key like this and then move it back and forth and shim the lock like that. I didn't learn that way, so in this video, I'm gonna show you just how I do it because um, that's how I've always had to shim locks and that is I'm gonna hold the key like this. I'm gonna hold the shim like this. It helps me keep it straight while we're shimming. So as what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be moving this key slowly in and out while applying some gentle pressure um, on the shim, if you apply too much pressure, it's not gonna work. So just, just a little bit of pressure, okay? We're just gonna start sliding this key back and forth while keeping a little pressure on here, up, as you can see. So right now, the key's only gonna go in that this far because we've already shimmed a couple of the um, pins here. So I'm gonna keep get back on here. I'm gonna hold it, keep moving it back and forth. Just some gent gentle pressure. Keep going, just got another one. There's another one. Another one. Oh, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna turn it like that. I'm gonna remove the shim. At this point, you're able to take it apart and rekey it. So that's how you shim a lock. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.